And welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Let's talk to this other nondescript one non-player character. The monster in the ice cream that makes itself invisible. Phoebe's house. Well, Phoebe, where's Spencer trapped? In the tunnel. He was digging under here. He got his bird and flowers to so take it out. Can we melt it? Not until we get wakewater from the spring of life. But a monster in the winter's cave stole the Lidria Press, the cool press from the Lidria Temple to the Light Temple. Can that cool? Anyway, first we have to get the whatchamacallit crest back, right? Right, to the wintry cave. Wait, why did we have to go all the way to your home to decide that? I don't know. things. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm actually trying to look at the bookshelves because they might be some really game. I, I can't get all the way close to the wall. Are you under the impression that there are bookshelves there? Did you just... Watch. Watch us see how this thing is going to No? Also, I hate these things. I don't know what they are, but they remind me of the little globe things you have to hit to switch switches and when the all the games to be annoying. Jump and open the side. Jump and open the side. As you imagine, Aquaria is normally a very watery place, but now it is not. It is frozen. Oh, yo. A monster in the ice pyramid up north is getting the power of the crystal. The power of the crystal water after the old arm. Hello, you, who doesn't look very different from the rest of the women in this place. Your blue hair. You that look that. How about buying my steel helmet? Two hundred gold pieces. Mm -hmm. By the way, I said frack, you know, that's what I said. There's a magic mirror which reflects the images of monsters. Thank you, small child. Why do you have blonde hair and your mother doesn't? Well, see, it's another crest symbol. So apparently when we have another craft, we can come back here and teleport places from in their basements. Because that's not at all we do. Apparently, oh. Hello, Linda Zelda mechanic. There was no purpose of that at all. But I do use it Because it's the Legend of Zelda mechanic, and I'm sorry, I spent a great many hours playing Link to the Past and cutting grass. It's not going to happen. Why am I cutting down trees? Because I can. Very satisfying. I like to do. Anyway, so we went along. Now look. More battle temples. Let's go to Wintry Cave. Hmm, which way should we go? Well, let's go towards the chest. So people don't yell at me for maybe missing things. Two scorpions. Well, Let's see how Phobia attacks. Phobia taught attack with Cat Claw. She's part cat. Attack with the axe. Scorpion attacks with Bill. Oh no, we're poisoned. Yeah, as you can see, we're supposed to be a much higher level than we are. 
I haven't been leveling up. Because, well, I don't like leveling. I'm sorry that makes me a horrible Final Fantasy player, but I, I only level when I really have to. One mechanic I don't like about this, that I can tell how badly I'm leveling by the companions the game gives me. Granted, the game always gives you approximately what you think you should be at, and smells a bit better, because then you won't die. A cat call. Interesting here, do. Oh no, she's blind. I blind her by making her turn around. That makes no sense. Stop being blind. There we go. Edgehog? Isn't that clever? It's an edgehog. It's a hedgehog. Okay, get my test. Explosives. You like explosives? Yes, it can do anything. It would be nice if it did. It's over. Who's quick? Who's the heavy gun to use in the wall? I'm going to get him hit in the code. Get me hit in I'm just kind of overkill right now. Or not overkill. So you're blind. I attack with bones. The bones. I leveled up, yay! Okay. Can we just stop there for a second? Yeah, I think it's like... Oh look, it's another edge part. With... Interesting colored... Oh. This whole quill can actually be quite soft. My friend in high school that had a uh, cut head type. It's actually really sweet. No, his name was not Sonic. His name was Marshall, actually. Very nice head talk. I pet him. A lot. Oh, look, she has life. I'm glad she has life. Why all the companions come equipped with life? I don't know. It makes sense. Oh, look, we're blind. Yeah, this is, this is kind of why we want to be leveled up. But, you know. Oh, look, she has magic. Randomly, everybody has some form of magic. And I'm casting quake backwards. Yeah, you don't really get a uh, designated spellcaster, designated light like witch. Um, the fact that you only have one companion character spot kind of uh, well, kind of limits you. Practice. If you walk without rhythm, you will track the wind. Oh, we don't want to take that. Let's just keep it back and bomb. You can attack the cat claw. Edgehog attacks the Ara Needle. Oh, that's so clever, clever. Worm in the middle is going down. Oh, that was. We need to set it. So that was interesting because the landworm had his head in the ground, effectively. That's actually kind of cool. 